Hello, Big Beefy Burger Biter here with another episode of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We're gonna go ahead and do another of the Tainted Character runs. Ooh, that's a pretty good start. So yeah, Eden's Eden's an interesting character. Tainted, funny Eden. He's basically just Eden. <laughs> I'm noticing the thing on the ground that's telling me how to play the game. So you just have you have your you have your run, and then you have your your stuff, your like your, your randomized stats, your space for item. I guess he I guess he doesn't always start with a tr oh, yeah, trinket, but I guess he started with the card instead. And uh, we just we want to try to just not get hit is the best thing to say, because if you get hit. You actually just you, you reroll your character. Also, we could die now. <laughs> that's that's not good. Every time we take a hit, your character rerolls. Uh, we started with an angel deal item, so we're going to keep an angel deal item. That is exactly why we we were, we were afraid of getting hit. Um, it's unfortunate it happened again because we had a uh, glass cannon. Locked down. Don't get down on your luck. I might just die right here. Also, apparently not with the Angel Leo item. Um, Loki's horns. So yeah, every item, we just don't care what it is. And, um... The most important change that happened to this character in particular was... The way they used to work was... If you took damage, no matter what it is, you would reroll. They have been generous, and stayed consistent with other things, and made it to where, um, self-inflicted damage does not, not do that. Um, we're gonna grab a ghost. We might die with one half a heart and a haunt. Our haunt's gonna have to get in there and kill them. <laughs> Please, okay. <laughs> Go in there. Just don't, just stay back and don't get cheap shot at my range is not uh, good enough for that that strategy. No! Alright. <laughs> There's like really no urgency there. Um, I think I'm, I have my, my, my thing charged. There you go. Uh, we have the HP. <laughs> oh wait, we don't have the HP. We don't have that. Uh, yeah. Self-inflicted damage. Like, blood donation machines bunch of stuff like that they don't cause you to, to reroll which was absolutely terrible that that was something that just worked like that again repentance was I don't think I've, I've said this during any of these recordings repentance when it first came out really was just not finished but it is in a much better state now I'd argue it's like the best the game has ever been that includes, like, the Flash version of the game. We can, we can utilize Loki's arms a little bit right here. That's kind of nifty. Because, yeah, some of these characters genuinely are just, just not designed. <laughs> Is a good way to put it, I guess? No! No! <laughs> Hold on. There you go. Bob's brain. Please, just kill him. <laughs> Bob's brain it. Alright, we have the explosives now. <laughs> I was afraid Bob's brain was gonna kill me. Thank you. We need this. Uh, what path do we even try to do? Uh, we try to kill as many of these guys with Bob's brain as I can. We missed, so that's fine. Just do it again. I'm gonna try to do the, uh, the mother alt path. Because I've clearly had good success trying it. Oh, uh, we re-rolled something in the egghead, so there's a chance that I get hit and it just nothing happens. It's, it's not nothing. I don't know why I was waiting to do that. They're, they're flies. They get hit in three tiers. Now, when my character re-rolls, not only my items, but yeah, all my stats re-roll too. Like the, the multipliers that this, this funny character normally gets. Yeah, those randomize. We have a uh, funny baby. We have duh baby. Headless baby. 
I do like my creep items. I feel like they're underappreciated uh, in the grand scheme of items in this video game. And the reason they're under <laughs> underutilized is because they don't just one-shot everything in the game. Because again, you're, uh, the run is not good unless you're killing everything instantly. Instead of uh, trying to utilize what you have. Like the bean from last run. Remember him, he was the worst character of the two, and he had the bean? <laughs> I sure do. I would bomb this guy. But we actually kind of, you know, need to make sure we have two bombs. Well, now we don't have Bob Spring. But we do have uh, damage tiers and uh, a laser beam. Now, here's the worst thing that can happen with this character. Ooh, another damage. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to this floor. Now, the worst thing that can happen is uh, when you're rerolling all of your boss room items, you can get a bunch of the health ups. Or uh, subsequently, you could get a bunch of health ups as, uh, not really, really any, uh, any boss room items. So getting hit with boss room items. Your health bar essentially just does not matter, and there are ways that this game can just, like, decide to kill you. I'm gonna hope that this is a passive item, and it wasn't. The lovers. Yes, the lovers. Because, like, you could... You could have the two of these things happen, uh, both of them happening with uh, high frequency. You could either reroll into a bunch of HP up items, and if that happens, you don't- they're not filled. And then having them un-rerolled, like, rerolled, I guess. Okay, I was gonna hit twice by that thing, that's kinda neat. I just wanna buy it so we have another item. Uh, having them rerolled doesn't fill them. So I have this HP up in my inventory, and <laughs> Montezuma's Revenge, which I said shit brimstone when I saw it, like, however many runs ago, literally is shit brimstone. Yeah. My bad. I still have the laser beam for some reason. <laughs> I almost caught his tail. For some reason, I'm still shooting a laser beam. <laughs> That's a bug. That's fine. Uh, but you could... <laughs> it happened right there. In fact, I still actually have an HP up. Yeah, it's not filled, and if I, I lose that, I basically will take a whole heart of damage. You can take massive amounts of damage randomly from getting hit. Because your max HP just deletes. So let's say I'm like, oh, I'm a five red heart character. Three of them are, uh, are, are HP ups. You get hit and you have essentially lost three and a half hearts. Because even if those reroll back into HP ups, they're not filled. So, any hit really is, not, is something you don't want to do as this character. But you do want to try to get a lot of items because it's the same. It's the same rule. With an item I feel like I've I've proven <laughs> has a high value. And that is D4. Or you just keep trying to re-roll until you get a god tier item. Uh, basically you just don't have control over it. I think it's honestly worth trying to uh part the boss, maybe. Maybe not. We are very low in health. I think we go fight the boss. We have... Let's see what we have. We have Ghost Pepper, two damage ups. Now a lot of bombs to go fight it. Yeah, we're gonna go try to fight this boss. <laughs> I shouldn't find that as funny as I do. Can I go in here now that I'm a dead guy? No. You should go fight the boss and hopefully not die to it. You're not like a champion. 
You're a champion, is what we call you. You're you're a guy. Just leave the room. That one was about that there was one tier that was kind of just being a stray that was gonna hit me. We're gonna go in here and bomb these uh these shopkeepers. I'm gonna blow that up too, because it will always drop. Interesting. <laughs> Apparently. That's very interesting, actually. We're gonna try to use this uh, effectively. I didn't know that that uh, that boss that item worked on that. I don't know. You could drop a bomb in that thing's mouth. Very nice to know. It makes sense because it's another one of those uh, worm enemies, and generally the, all the worm enemies uh, do that. The, the caveat to that is you usually need a lot of bombs in this uh, in this alternate path. Yeah, there's a chance that we just go down into this um this uh mines, uh, do the the chase scenery and just die instantly. That could happen. Because I failed to mention the other thing that could uh happen to this character. You could be very unfortunate, have a lot of red health, like an exceptionally large amount of red health, like such a good amount of red health. And then, um, re-roll into something like Dead Cat, which will take away all of your red hearts. And then, uh, when you re-roll, you don't get those back. Which I've lost a couple runs to that, where I've been hit three or four times, because something else for this character. Um, it's very easy to get chain hit. Because, let's say, uh, well, uh, I just, I just re-rolled, I don't know what it is. My stats are very low, because I got run down by an enemy, and I have no speed. Oh, uh, I got hit again. Oh, uh, well this time, ooh, I got Bob's brand, and I didn't realize it, so I immediately got hit again. There's another hit. It's very easy to have something like that happen as this character. Do we sit here and do this for like three coins? I don't think so. A D7. What does D7 do? Rerolls all okay. That's the one that just lets you do the room again. For the chance at more consumables. Um that's a passive, so we're gonna take it. We want to try to keep as many passive items as we can. These are going to be X ones. He died. <laughs> the amount of health I have is definitely a high concern of my uh, ability to win this run. I missed with both of those. But you know what? I ain't... I ain't afraid of no not have no health. When have I ever been like that? <laughs> I'm still thinking about how I literally had like a million damage and then died. Not a million, not a million damage, you know. What I what I what I mean to say is, okay. Um I had like so much health that like no one could possibly die. I had literally like seven or eight red hearts and then still managed to die. I think we blow this up. And then um honestly buy this. I was gonna buy the uh I'm gonna buy the the extra item just to have another uh, passive item in my in my inventory. I'd be I'd, I'd be really cool if I could utilize the current spacebar item I'm looking that I have right now. I'll probably get a hit on this boss because uh, he's a bit of a toughie. Just 
Just a little bit tough. Just a little strong. Yeah. But Botfly is also gonna try to negate most of this. Botfly, please. <laughs> We got hit. We could undo this. Do we care if we undo it? Not really. Those rocks out of here. Get the rocks. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I, I actually just don't know how this, how this character does brimstones. Then you think it would make sense if it, if it was the eye. Uh, clicker. <laughs> clicker is an item. We have chaos. Uh, you will not be using clicker. That'll turn us into a different character entirely. I did it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to being, uh... Oh, we haven't even shown off this guy. Oh yeah, we're, we're Napoleon now. <laughs> we're tainted Napoleon. I'll give him a proper introduction on what he does. Maybe sometime in the future. Now, why did I use Clicker? Um, honestly... I saw... A few things about my run that I felt were worth keeping. One, this is cool. <laughs> and then, um, that was it. And now I'm looking at my items now, and I have Curse of the Tower. <laughs> so, maybe my bad. But uh, I get to show off what this character does. I'm gonna not- I'm gonna not mention it, because this isn't this character's introduction. This is not their correct, uh... Correct, uh, thing. We're doing it again. Hey, here's this character now. I have a heart. You can do this episode of the Binding Hours of I'll see you in the next one.